Shopify Sense Theme Customization Complete Tutorial Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can customize the Sense theme on Shopify. So, let's get into it. Now, by default, usually we have the Dawn theme selected, and although the Dawn theme is great for a basic website and it does work well for conversion, sometimes it's better to elevate and customize your website further. And changing up your theme and customizing that can be a great way to do so. Now, to get started with customization of our store, simply log on to your Shopify dashboard and click on Online Store on the left panel. Once you click on online store, you will be directly led to themes. Now, once you do that, you're going to scroll to the bottom and it will show you some of the popular free themes. And in the popular free themes, you will actually see the sense theme over here. If you can't find the sense theme, just click on visit theme store and just search for the sense theme over here in the Shopify theme store. Now you're just going to click on add over here to add the sense theme to Shopify. Now this will actually be added to the theme library. And once this has been added to your theme library, you can begin customizing it and then making it the live theme that is installed on your Shopify website. So we're going to wait for the installation process to be completed and let's take a look at how the sense theme and the dawn theme are going to look pretty different. So starting off, uh, first off, we're going to click on customize on the right panel over here. And once you click on customize, this will actually show you your basic sense theme. Now in the sense theme, there are color combinations that are selected. Now these might not work for everyone. So one of the first things after I edit this header, I'm going to show you guys how to edit all the colors because a lot of people can't seem to figure that out initially. So the first thing I'm going to do is click on the header image on the right over here and click on select image. Now from here, I can upload a Shopify product image, which I'm going to do and i'm going to use this image over here now once we add our image we can choose the size that we want to use our image so we can make it medium large or small uh, the smaller size is pretty small so keep that in mind i'm going to keep the larger size and then the desktop image width so if you want it to be medium or small now i want to go for the medium size and then you have the desktop image placement if you want the image to be on the right or if you want it to be on the left then you have the content position. It should be on the middle, bottom, or top. Now I'm going to keep it at the middle. And then you have the content alignment, the content layout, if you want no overlap or if you want some overlap. Then you have the schemes, which I'm going to talk about later. And then you have the animations, then the mobile layouts as well. Now over here, once we have our image added, we can click on edit to actually add a focal point. So I can add a focal point to make sure that you know that part of the image is what is actually focused upon now i think i'm going to edit the focal point a bit more and move it to the top of the image and once you've added your focal point uh, i might want to change the width not the width actually the height of the image to maybe a medium height and then i'm going to edit the image once more we're going to go with this one over here going with the same image once more we're going to click on edit and add our focal point now you guys can see this section of our store sometimes certain sections uh they don't actually support your focal point so you do have to manually crop the image and then re-upload it now once we do that we're going to add our new text so we're going to click on the text and from the left panel we can add the text over here roll out in the latest friends like this and then we have a shop now button now the shop now button has a button link to all our products so i'm going to keep it that way below that we have a featured product section now for our sense theme what i'm going to do is on the left panel you have your theme settings now make sure to always click on your theme settings and you can go into the logo section click on select image and you can upload your logo image over here now when you do that you don't have to manually go ahead and you know add your logo everywhere it will automatically be added to the default spaces that should have your logo then you can see the logo width that you can choose from so as you guys can see we have our logo width over here i'm just going to make it smaller like this and then you can edit your logo as well so if there's focal point in your logo you can add that but that's really not necessary 
and below that you actually have your colors so you will see multiple different color schemes are available now to change the colors of your shopify store you're going to add your own scheme and then you're going to use that scheme in your section so I have previously created this color scheme. You can click on add scheme over here and start building your own color scheme. Let's say I want it all to be in pinks. So I'm gonna go on ahead, add light pink. Then I can add my background gradient. So I can add the gradient from here like this. Let's say I want this. And then in this section, I can select a different pink. So we're gonna go with our pinks over here like this and then i'm just gonna go on ahead and add a darker pink over here like this and then i can add the darkest pink to the right side over here like this and i'm gonna lighten this one a little and make this super light like over here now once we've created our pink gradient we can edit the colors of the text we can add the solid button labels the button outlines and shadows i'm going to keep them as they are now once we have created this particular shopify theme what you're going to do is you can go back into any of your sections and then you will see once you click on any section it will show you the color scheme so i'm going to click on change and i'm going to change this to this one like this and like this i've changed the internal color scheme as well I have multiple different color schemes built out and you can build out you know your own color scheme however you want but let's say we want to use this one you can click on any section and then choose the color scheme of your choice like this now if i click on the announcement bar over here i can edit that and then change the style of this as well going into our footer we can change the scheme for that as well so you can go ahead and add all of your color schemes if you want you know varying color schemes if you want the same color scheme that's totally fine as well but usually these color schemes are mostly only in like your home page now once we've customized the basic appearance we can get started with some of our other pages so i have a featured product section in our home page and if i want to add another section i can click on add section and then add my own customized section as well now to further customize i'm going to go into product and you can select your default product and whatever changes you make to the default product uh, layouts they will automatically be applied to all of your products so as you guys can see this is like our basic default product so i'm gonna go on ahead and start customizing some of the stuff so i can click on add block and let's say with that i want to add some complementary products i can add that and then in the complementary product i can add you may also like or pairs well with i want to add counter and i want to show like two products over here below that and then i can enable a quick add button as well for those items and then i can choose some metadata for a particular type of meta field to be added over here so in this way you can actually customize you know a lot of things within the product pages of shopify now once you customize everything and you've edited you know your basic checkout your cart all of that can have some basic edits now once you have completed that you're going to click on save on the top right and then we're going to click on refresh page or just save and override and then just like that your sense theme will be added and you have customized your sense theme now if you like the sense theme you can click on publish to convert it to the live theme that is applied on your shopify store so i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe